Hello again Virginia Rider fans, welcome to another video. I'm your host Mark Ritchie and today we're going to discuss a little bit about trail breaking and I couldn't think of a better road to do it than uh, eastbound on Virginia 250 Bull Pasture Mountain. So we touched on it on the last video on Shenandoah Mountain on West Virginia 33. Uh, this direction on this road has some very steep hills that end up in the corner. And if you engage or practice in trail breaking, there's few better roads than this, in my humble opinion. So this is just a couple miles long. I also wanted to talk about uh, Sandy at Winky Ride Greb Glides. Uh, we did a video a couple weeks ago about his dog Greb passing. And hey, there's a bike. Awesome. Welcome to March. So he has recently got another puppy German Shepherd. Sam Langford, so I just thought that was uh, wonderful, wonderful news. So we'll, we'll get into a little bit of that after we get over the mountain. Also got some new video editing software from Cyberlink. Uh, we are recording in full high definition, 60 frames per second, and that video software seems to hold up to the challenge. So we're just going to enter, enter a couple of these, not quite a horseshoe corner, but it's pretty sharp, so it's almost one of those corners that's long enough to where your lean dictates speed and your throttle dictates line. It's almost cross-controlled a little bit, and all this salt pretty much is gone from the snowstorm we had a couple nights ago. But trail braking focuses on the the end phase of the braking procedure. So as you're entering a corner you don't want to be too abrupt on the braking to upset the bike any more. You, you, know, you have enough to contend with with bumps in the road and your line. So you want to be as smooth as you possibly can. And we're going to be entering one of these corners. And you just want to ease off, let the bike settle. There was a peg scrape. Like this corner right here, you can see all of the indentations in the road from the, the back part of the truck where you step on to get into the back of the trailer is dragged. And this one right here. It's just all right, that's where the bike wants to be. This is like a roller coaster ride. And I just leave it in fourth here. This is downhill. And this turn right here is almost hard to keep your focus on the road because of the scenery. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a good road to practice that on. So getting back to Sandy, uh, looks like, you know, barring in any unforeseen issues with the new puppy wanting to ride on the bike, which, knock on wood, I don't see happening. So, he, hopefully he'll be 
picking up where he left off with Greb. Incidentally, Sam Langford is, uh, how do I put this? So, Greb's father is also Sam Langford's great-grandfather. So if you're scoring it at home, that's like a 6-4-3 double play. Uh, I think, maybe not. Uh, I was never really good at genealogy. But hopefully he's going to be picking up where he left off with the uh, Cause for Pause charity that he has with his local SPCA. And I just, I wanted to touch on that uh, as many motorcyclists out there are animal lovers. Um, if you haven't already, you might want to reach out to your local SPCA or Humane Society. I know the one here in Highland County uh, is invaluable. They have helped Rose and I out so much with our cats and continue to do so. Uh, and hopefully where you're at, yours is doing a commendable job as well. So we're towards the end of our video here. If you haven't already, hop on over to virginiarider.com. Sign up for your free monthly digital subscription of Virginia Rider magazine, packed full of news, information, features, and events each month, and something to look forward to. So thanks for watching. We will catch you on the next one on Virginia Rider magazine. Cheers.